Welcome to the Bamboo Project. If you don't already know, my name is Donovan Gray. Some of y'all probably know me from these videos. A lot of y'all probably don't. I know a lot of people want to start to roll to make some extra money. And the most important thing is choosing the best car for your area. When I put up the first Turo video, I said, if you comment your city, I'll make a video for you. We got a lot of requests and I put a pause on the video to get our life in order while we flip our first house. After I make this list, that's it. I'm not making any more videos about researching your city. We put a playlist of all the cities we've done. After this list, it'll be about 60 plus. Shout out to all of our subscribers and supporters in Bakersfield, California. I didn't forget about y'all. This video is for Ka. K-A? We're gonna go with that. This is how I would pick the best car to start Turo in Bakersfield, California. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is open up my handy dandy spreadsheet, which you can download below from the description. Step number one, okay, I say fill out your monthly goals. The reason I say that is because people go into Turo with no expectation of what they wanna make, and if you don't know where you want to go, then how are you gonna get there? People also have expectations for Turo where they feel like, I wanna make $20,000 in a month, and they don't really know what that takes to get there. So that's why I made this spreadsheet to kind of put that into perspective. So I have the custom expenses, and then I have average in America. The average expense in America for a car, this is according to, you know, some Google website, a couple of Google websites actually, uh, is $1,279 for a car. Now you have your custom expenses. Um, we're gonna just use that just because uh, we got $600 for custom expense actually. Let's go with average in America. How much do I want to make per month? So let's see what is the average income in Bakersfield, California. Okay, so in 2020, the average income in Bakersfield, California was $30,144. I'm gonna divide that by 12 to see how much money we'd have to make every single month. It would be $2,500. So if you want to never have to get a job and work again in Bakersfield, California, you would have to bring home $2,500 a month let's put that number in here twenty five hundred dollars so next thing to choose is your insurance plan how turtles insurance plans works is as such they have five different plans okay you have the 60 percent plan the 75 percent plan the 80 percent plan the 85 percent plan and the 90 percent plan now as you can see on the screen each plan gives you different things but the most important thing to remember with each plan is that turtle will take a percentage of your income any ride that you do on Turo, they will take a piece of it if you're on a 60 percent plan they will take 40 if you're on a 90 percent plan they will take 10 percent so you can figure out how you want to do it and you know whatever you feel comfortable with um the other important thing to remember is that with each plan if you go up higher you get less you get less protection from Turo. You get more money, but less protection. So I like to go somewhere in the middle. Uh, let's go 80%. Now, the next thing is how many cars do you want to have? Okay, this is solely up to you. I always advise people to start off with multiple cars because if one car breaks down, you're making no money. And also I think you can multiply your experience if you have more than one car to start. So I would always suggest starting with like three cars or four cars, something like that. Let's go with three cars. Now, some people probably go like, how do I get three cars? Okay, there are different ways to get it. Obviously, if you have money, you can do that. You can rent out three cars. You can just go buy them cash, the cheaper in cars. If you do the other method people talk about, which is going to different dealers, you take one approval from the bank to multiple dealers and you get multiple cars. I know a couple of people have done that. And then the other option, which is kind of, I just thought about it right now. If you know people with cars they don't use, for people who really don't have any money or any approval or bad credit or whatever the case might be, find people that have cars they don't use and ask if you can use their car to rent it on Turo for at least you know maybe a week out of the month so you can get accustomed to doing it. And you actually will save money because you're not paying for the monthly expenses of owning the car. If somebody else has the car, you just rent it out for them. All right, now an average car is rented for about 15 days a month. Everybody's different. I know some people who have their car rented out a lot. I know other people who have their car rented out almost nothing at all. I'm gonna go with 15 days. Here's what this means. If you have three cars, right? You would have to charge for each car $176 per day so that you can bring home $2,500 per month. Okay, that means that each car would be making $2,112 before 
any expenses okay that's what you make um now that's high to charge for one car if you want to get an affordable car right but again we're going with these expenses here so you have this option and now if we were to go and do custom expenses you would only have to charge 119 dollars uh, per car then you have this option here let's say you have three cars let's bump that number up to five right you charge less let's put up to seven you charge less per car and then boom here's the other thing too if you're really good at Turo, let's say your car gets rented 25 days out the month this is how you play with it you figure out what works best for you but i want to be conservative right in the middle 15 days per month for the video we're gonna do 119 119 dollars per car so if you're in california you're gonna have to get an expensive car to start or multiple a lot of cars and you're gonna have to have them rented out for a majority of the month so right now we are at $2,500 a month to net. And this is after all your expenses, okay? And on an 80% plan, having five cars rented 15 days per month, each car would have to rent for $92 per day for at least 15 days. And each car would gross $1,100 per month. So now step number two is go to the Turo website. Make sure you are signed out. The reason why you wanna be signed out is because some people have limits on age for their car. So if you're under 30 and you're trying to start Turo and you're trying to do your research, you won't be able to know what cars are out there because your age will be too low. The next thing I like to do is put the date further out into the future, about six to eight months. Currently, today is August. 29th 2022 i like to do several days because some people have restrictions on their bookings you'll see different things like only one day bookings are allowed or are not allowed or only have to be more than three or four days because you want to get you want to be able to see the most amount of cars so you can have the most information to do the best research so now we know from here we have to have a car that makes at least 92 dollars per day okay that you can charge for that so we go to price change this filter to put a 90 we have 28 cars in Bakersfield, California that we can make $90 from. So now that you have the remaining cars, you look and see how many, oh, excuse me. You look and you see where's the best place to rent a car. So there's not a lot of cars. I can probably count these cars on one hand. Well, not one hand, but you know, just right here. Make sure you have search for cars as I move the map on. And then here is the airport. I don't see a lot of cars out here in general, but it seems like in Rosedale, West Side, there's some cars down here. Um, so that seemed like a good thing to, a good place to put the car at. Yeah, there aren't a lot of cars out here. I'm curious how many there are. So this has 28 results. And if I go down to 10, it's only 82 cars in total that are out here. So, you know, there's that. So now we're back up to 90. Now the next step, which would be step number four, Make sure I gotta change this. All right, step number four is to write down how many cars there are of each brand. And to do that, you would scroll down on the spreadsheet and then you set number of cars. You will start entering the cars. You do that by going to more filters. You scroll down until you see vehicle makes and then you see where it says Acura. It says there are no Acura. So we're gonna put zero, okay? Then we're going to do Alfa Romeo, another one with zero. Then we're going to do Audi, zero, okay? So now I'm gonna do the rest of these and I will be back in a snap. This is Rock. Mm -hmm. Say hi, Rock. Hmm. Hi. Hi. You and your dad's video, say hi. Hi, Dad. I don't know what sushi is. Sushi! It's almost time for him to eat. Say hi! Hi! Zero. Okay, I have counted all the cars of each brand, and I like to play a little game with everyone where you guess the top three brands in this market. Okay? I gave you 15 seconds. So this is probably the smallest city I've ever seen. Um, I don't think I've ever seen less cars than this out of every single city I've searched all the time, ever. Um, so I don't know, maybe it's really small Bakersfield. I don't know what the Turo vibe or scene is over here. So coming in, 
with a whopping two cars. We have a tie between GMC, BMW, and the Polestar. Okay, now, coming in with an astounding three cars. We have the Mercedes-Benz and the Ford. Wait, and the Chevrolet. Okay, all right, you see that coming. Now, with the astronomical amount of cars, okay, coming in with the number one spot with five cars. We have the Tesla. Okay, clap it up for everybody with the Tesla. Woo, yay, woo. Okay. Uh, so, yes, that is super low. There are only 28 cars out here. Um, but, you know, it's always good to just know how to research a car. And you also can find out whether or not it's good to do it in your market. So, the next step would be to go through the listings, right? So, after you do that, you will come down to where it says number or percentage. I like to start off with number. And let's go cars that are in between the two and five range. All right. So that leaves us with the Tesla, the Polaris, the Mercedes Benz, the GMC, the Ford, the Chevrolet and the BMW. OK, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars. Now, I don't even really have to even go like to each one individually. But normally what you would do is you would go to each specific car. The first one being the BMW, all right? And then we got two results, right? So I'll look at these. This one has four trips. This one only has two trips, right? Very low amount of trips. Very low. Uh, he joined in 2018. It's probably his personal car. Now, here's something that's interesting to me, okay? So he's an all-star host, and he has 371 trips. How does he have that many trips in a market that's this small? That lets me know he either has cars from somewhere else or he's killing the game in some way. Look at this. Typically responsible within one minute has five stars. All right, Eric, let's see what you're doing. How many cars do you have? Toyota Camry. He only has two cars on here. Response time is zero minutes. Let's see what we got. He has 319 reviews. Now, how, how is that? So here's what I think is going on. I think that he is regularly selling his cars, it seems like. Maybe he had more cars and sold them. But to have that many trips only have two cars is not very common. That's actually very odd for that. Um, he has 371 trips and 319 reviews. I gotta get to the bottom of this. So that shouldn't even happen. So I don't know. Like I said, what I'm assuming is he had cars and sold them. He's been doing this since 2018. He probably got out the business and decided to stop having cars on here. These cars charge over that amount of money per day. Not a lot of trips. Let's see, what is the oldest review on this car? This is how you go and check or do your research. Always how I would do it. Check for the oldest and most recent review. There's only one, which is June 27th of 2022. Does he have like a, a personal page that he rents cars on? Okay. You see, I knew it. I found out what's going on. So these cars are disabled. I don't know why they are disabled, but he only has these two cars being able to rent. If you go on Google, there's a couple of cars here. Um, the next car on the list would be the Chevrolet. And like I said, this is what you would do, but I'm just gonna go through all of them because I can look at all the cars at one time. All 28 cars, all right. So which car has the most trips on here? The four is pretty, is the highest I see. 10, 20 trips, that's a nice, this is a nice picture. Hmm. 20 trips, 17 trips, 13 trips, 19 trips, 3 trips, 22 trips, 11, 6, 8, 7, 8, 2, 6, 2, 5. So the highest seemed to be about 20, I think I saw. I'm curious who has this slingshot. And he charges $145 a day for it. Oh, she does. Excuse me. Um, how many? How many cars does she have? She has a Buick, a Polaris, the Slingshot. Okay, she's probably doing pretty well on here. How many trips she has total? And it's five star. Shout out to Madeline. Um, she has 57 trips total. It's not really a lot, but she joined last year in November. Let's see. So if I'm going through this list, right, 
the car that I would choose just by going through this list, just to meet our criteria that's up here, I would choose the Tesla. I mean, look at the Kia. The uh, Kia Sedona seems to be doing pretty well, but they had the car for a while. But I would say, obviously, a Tesla Model Y is going to do well. Let's see, who is this person? Alberto. He is an all-star host. He has three cars. Not a lot of trips up here. Um, so, because it's a very small market, I would not even do Turo in this market. Uh, the main reasons are there aren't, it doesn't seem like there's a demand here for Turo. If you have a car for yourself and you want to just cover your monthly payment or something like that, I would then probably put my car on Turo if I lived out here. Other than that, I could not see myself doing Turo in this market. The last two things I want to do is because I made this spreadsheet for um, multiple reasons. One of them was for affordable cars, right? So in the 10 to $60 range, the 61 to 90 and the 90 plus uh, cars, right? So if you wanted to find an affordable car, because a lot of the cars in the price range of 90 plus are going to be expensive to purchase, then you could go and do it like this. So you go to 10 to $60, right? You go boom. I only want to see cars that are in this range, 10 to $60. There's 34 of them. Then go down this list and see how you want to do it. So now here's the thing. I don't think if you wanted to do this model, it seems like people are renting these cars, right? Um, let's see which one has the most rents. So then also another thing you would do is once you have your price filter from $10 to $60, if you're in that range, you would go back to the throw spreadsheet, same as you did before, and you would write down each car of each brand so you could find out which actual cars would be rented the most. So going through this, let's see, we got the Buick has 30, 23, 38, the Prius. Okay, that tells me something right here. People are buying cars to go to work probably, right? Business related cars, Toyota Corolla. Honestly, it might be doing, oh, they might be doing it for like, um, for food delivery and stuff like that. Maybe Uber or something. Mm -hmm. Yep, look at this. very economy cars out here. Economy cars. So let's do the math real quick on this, okay? So if we're doing, these cars are about on average, let's say $50 a day. So we're doing 50 times 15, right? That's $750. Now, I like to go on Carvana. Uh, 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 uh. The reason is it gives me an idea of what these cars might cost. So let's see if I go back and look on here. Um, I think the let's go with a honestly. Let's see this Prius has 38 trips and the most recent trip was August 16th His first trip for this car was February 1st of 2022 So what that lets me know is that this car was put on the market this year still looks clean 2015 so it's older don't have to pay as much 34 is the well, let's go with 40 is what he has for 40 times 15 and honestly, I think this car probably rents for a long period of time um, $600 is what you would make on this car if it was rented $15 a day. So a Toyota Prius from 2015, okay? This car is $21,000. That's kind of expensive. Golly, that same car that we... That is the same price that we pay for our 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. That is right. A Prius is expensive? Let's see. Where, what's a, what's a, a used car website to buy cars? You got cars.com. Wow. Yeah, these Priuses are... Pretty expensive, golly. So I would suggest maybe buy the car. Oh, here you go. Maybe this one's ten thousand um, dollars. Might still work the way it's supposed to. That's crazy that there's that. But the estimated payment for the month is one hundred and twenty-five dollars, right? So you make it six hundred dollars. There probably is a lot less um, maintenance for this car because it's such an older car. It's probably very reliable. Um, so I'm assuming that your cost would be less to own this car. But this car is still pretty expensive, and that's kind of crazy. Obviously, I had no idea about the Prius market. This is crazy. And if I go on here, the monthly payment is $400 a month. So if I was to get this car from 2010, which is older than the car that was in that picture, I'll be paying $400 a month roughly. And the car, if I rent it out every single day, 40 times 30 is $1,200. So if the car is rented every single day, I would make $1,200. And you would subtract these other expenses your car note, your car insurance, your cleaning, maintenance, depreciation, and miscellaneous. Um, so let's see. On that, we saw that the car note would be about $400, $408. Um, your car insurance would be, I don't know, probably cheap. I have a, this, if you use ABI, it'd probably be like 
So let's go with that. Cleaning, cleaning yourself. Let's say that's thirty dollars. Buy the cleaning supplies yourself. Maintenance, probably less than a hundred dollars. But let's go with a hundred. Depreciation. I'm not sure for this kind of car. But let's say we're at 768 for something like this. It'll be 768. So 1200 minus 768. If your car was rented every single day, you would bring home about $432 profit in your pocket. So that would be if you are renting this car to somebody who's doing food delivery or something like that, this would probably be the best for that. Um, let me just go and check the last couple cars they have, and then I'm going a, I'm to a head out for you guys. Um, let's see. But the cars didn't do well. Toyota Prius, Corolla, Optima, the Ford Fusion, similar car. How much is the Ford Fusion? Okay, this one's cheaper. Ford Fusion is cheaper. Okay, that's good. What how many trips it has? 28. That's that's good. 46 for the Honda Accord. Ooh. Ooh. Who is the who's renting this one out? Shout out to Michael. Oh, he only has one car on the platform. There's no power holes out here, it seems like either. So this is my verdict for this area. If you're going to do a tour out here, I would either use my own car or I would try to find a very small economy car that maybe you could buy cash and then just put that on the platform, mainly for people who want to do ride sharing, not ride sharing, who want to do like food delivery or I think ride sharing like Uber and stuff. Um, I'll probably use a car for that, but I would not buy an expensive car for this market. I wouldn't do it. So, with that being said, Bamboo Project out.